Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to Arab Man React. Reacts. These are my top three things about Arion's Valley of the Queens. Performed at Valley of the Arion or something. Live from Arion Universe. If you haven't checked out the reaction video to this song, make sure you check it out. It is in the description below. Yalla habibi, below. Tahat, click, sawi! It's a very, very short song. Two minutes and 59? No. Two minutes and 49, I think. It's a very short song. I didn't have time to take it all in, right? Because it ends so quickly, but I gave it a few more listens. And here they are. At number three, the music. And this could be very, very personal on my end. It's very subjective, but I love that music. It k takes me back to my favorite video games into a beautiful universe of just folklore and medieval times and knights in shining armor and just questing all day long. And that is usually the soundtrack that is consuming the entire day. It's always there. And what ends up happening when I'm binge playing a video game is I'll actually load up the soundtrack of that video game and I'll play it in the background of my day before I go to bed, while I'm making a mustard sandwich. Anytime I'm doing anything, I'll play that music. I'll just be in that space where I want to listen to it. And the fact that I get to listen to a piece of music like this from outside of my video games, man, you don't know how much I appreciate that. And it really does make me so so happy. Between the flute, the cello, that acoustic guitar, and just the general temperament on the stage, it really does teleport you to that kind of universe. And I really appreciate it. The entire song is basically one big instrumental loop performed live to you in a wonderful way, in such a perfected way. And then it gives you that small uplift right before that Flute, it's not a flute. We still don't know what it is. That wind instrument, that pipe wind things. Beautiful like solo riff harmony melody part. It's just pure magic. At number two, my second favorite thing about this performance has got to be the three leading ladies. Let's take a macro view of the situation. You got three wonderful voices on a stage, two of which I am very familiar with, one of which I am madly in love with. I can speak about Anike and I can speak about Floor. And here's the thing, these are two of the most epic voices in the entire world, right? And here they are on the stage doing harmonies with each other. How can you not appreciate something so humble and modest? Two of the front ladies of the biggest rock bands in the world share the stage together. And what's the deal with Anike? It's like everybody wants to perform with Anike, right? We saw her with Within Temptation. We saw her with that dude doing Blower's Daughter. And I'm pretty sure you guys mentioned that she does some songs with Devin Townsend, which we will be reacting to soon. But it's like everybody wants to, 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 to get on stage with Anakin. I think that's very, very cool. I still don't know who the redhead is. I hope she's not Dutch, because that would just be not fair, guys. It's not fair. If you have all the leading ladies of metal in your world, how's that fair for the rest of us? Basically, it was impossible for me to take my eyes off of that stage, man. The chemistry between them, the awesomeness of their being on that stage together, and you really see the way they're looking at each other, and it's like they're hinting to each other on what we're doing. They're friends. They're, it's not like, it's not a performance. They're not on that stage and they've rehearsed and practiced and I'll do this and you'll do that. No, no, they, they, I mean, they're, they own what they do obviously they're the best of the best but they're on that stage hanging out and having a good time and that transpires to us when we're watching it and we feel that and at number one my favorite thing about this performance has got to be the harmonies there are so many things that you can detail about those harmonies. I remember I watched a couple YouTube videos about a year ago about all the billions of kinds of harmonies one could put together. And I think every single one of them is in that performance. Like they do it all. And I mean this when I say it, if you take that and you listen to it over and over and over and you try to mimic their different parts, you will learn how to create harmonies. You will learn how to know your place when you're putting together a three part harmony. It's flawless. It's perfect. Perfect. It's effortless. It's not easy is what I'm saying here, but they make it so fluid to them They know it like the, the the back of their hand They know it like they're breathing air and it's a phenomenal thing. It's a great talent They're all equally harmonizing on this one thing There wasn't one lead lady here like we said three leading ladies perfectly Harmonizing together to give you probably one of the best singer-led 
about experiences you've ever listened to. Now there is one thing I did notice. The redhead doesn't take the lead. We see Anike take the lead. We see Floor take the lead. The redhead never takes the lead, but she's always backing up both of them. So this lends itself to my theory that she is the lead singer of Arion and their guests on her stage. I'm, I'm believing myself more and more. I believe in myself. Please confirm this to me. Am I right? If I am, please just tell me her name because Joey won't tell me anything. And with that being said, I want to put an end to this video so I can go and watch that performance a few more times before I hit the hay because I think it would be a perfect way to fall asleep. Let me know if you agree with me down there in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Links to our Discord channel and our Twitter down in the description below. We'll catch you in the next one. Pepcon Salamat.